I know you got some passing me, honey. They are accusing anyone from Mary. Let's see. Speaking of fancy cultures, the palace of Versailles just opened Mary Antoinette's private chambers to the public. For the low price of $1,100, you can walk through the apartment and where the Queen of France hit during the People's March on Versailles. The two-story suite has been under restoration for five years. To reflect our cake-loving queen, not so subtle, more is more aesthetic. Hmm? What might be even more fascinating for those ones who show some interest in natural beauty treatments. Internet all natural, extravagant skincare routine. Did you know? I didn't know. Which is very well documented, mainly because her personal perfumers love of journaling. We love a man who journals. There is a book. And her beauty recipes are in the book. According to accounts, we can say that she was a natural cosmetics pioneer and way ahead of her time. At least when it comes to that part of the world. Let's not forget that the main ingredient of skin products of this time was lead. And skincare routines consisted of masking up dirt and scents caused by the lack of grooming. Madame Deficit took really good care of her fabulous complexion. She cleansed her face with pigeon vulture. There is a recipe, and the main ingredient is eight stewed pigeon. And used a toner that made up the drops of the grape wines flowing in May. And if you know something about wine or growing grape wines, you know that this is the time of the year that the stage of flowering takes place. Zora girl was not... She protected her hands from chaffing with royal paste, personally made for her. And she wore oil-infused gloves at night. She bathed regularly, unlike most people of the time, and she put skin-soothing pine nuts in her royal bath. Mary maintained her royal smile and pearly whites with powders and opium. Opiates. <laughs> her natural hair color was strawberry blonde under her powdered wig. To highlight her red hair naturally, she used an almost plant based paste made of turmeric and sandalwood and rhubarb. I might have to try that. Her signature face mask, which is still very popular today, it's made of cognac, egg, milk, and lemon juice. My grandmother actually made this. To cover up imperfections, she would use faux beauty marks called mochi. They have different meanings, depending on where you place them. Near the corner of your eye meant passion. Apparently, our queen liked to place hers near the corner of her mouth to give a sign that she would like a kiss. She was a big fan of fragrances, particularly ones made with two bros. Not did she try to cover up. Her obsession with signature scents are well documented. She even kept the jasmine bergamot plant with her during her imprisonment. Her private cultures look too much different during her imprisonment than what the public is going to see in Versailles. She was 14 at the time when she got married and 38 at the time when she got executed. <laughs>